I would like to, uh, instead of having one more um, long talk now, I would like us to get together and, and talk about what you feel, what are the obstacles and what could be helping um, to get GLAMS to interact easier, more easier with us. Um, we have here from Eva and Alexandra, we have the statement that the reason why they're not using Wikimedia in the first place is because they consider their platform is more user-friendly and it's easier to access than the Wikimedia movement. This is something I, I reckon, Lisa, you would um, agree that one of the obstacles you feel from uh, working with the Rijksmuseum, collaborating with Wikimedia movement, is one real obstacle. Yes. Okay. Um, well, just talk to the to to it. through the microphone. Okay. So, um, well, I actually um, um, had a couple of points um, I wanted to. Um, bring into this therapeutic session uh, that cause at least some misunderstanding between us and our very, very beautiful partner, the Glam Wiki community. Uh, platform could be one of us, um, could be one of it. Um, it does feel uh, Wiki is sort of a, uh, it's a thing on its own and when you go in there, although you feel big as a big national museum in the Netherlands, you end up being just one of the very small players in a large crowd. So um, where does your own identity go and how do, you, how do you become outstanding in a world where everything stands out? Um, we, as the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, started our beautiful relationship with uh, the Wikipedia community uh, because we felt that uh, the Wiki platform, although it is very restrictive in its form and its interface, uh, would bring us a lot of good new things, new knowledge, new audiences, new languages. Um, we can cope with so many languages as a national museum. We can write things in Dutch or in English. But any Chinese dialect is way out of our league. So <laughs> We, we, we would be so happy if someone from your community would take the time to just translate some of the things we do and help us spread the word in Taiwan. So we loved you so much, Wiki community. But then, like any good relationship, some of the things started to, I don't know, crack a bit. Um, well, would you say, would you agree with um, Eva and Alexandra that one of the reasons why uh, there were those crack feelings um, were um, due to uh, the, uh, let's say, uh, uh, harsh um, accessibility to, uh, to the Wikimedia movement. Would you agree on that? Yes, yes. Um, of course, as a museum, we always feel like we're a welcoming hosting organization, um, which we're probably not so. Please bring it on and tell us why we as GLAM organizations are very unwelcoming to Wikipedians. Um, but what struck us most was that some of the things that we put on Wikipedia were simply thrown off by people called Fluffy 2004. And not just thrown off, it was also blocked in bad Dutch. So you are trying to put your effort into Wikipedia and write an article and within five seconds it's thrown away because, and then you get the poor Dutch with the wrong syntaxes, someone stating that it's incomplete, incorrect, and it lacks resources. But we always saw, thought of ourselves as being a resource and suddenly we lack resources to, uh, to tell our own story. For instance, I have a curator with a collection of Chinese uh, earthware, which is something that is not very well documented. There's not an entire library in the Netherlands that can back up our stories. Actually, my curatorial staff spends half their lives researching these earthwares and trying to create sources to tell the story of these works of art. And then when we put them on Wikipedia, we're suddenly thrown off because we're biased. We are the producers of the resources. So we must have some specific interest in this. So we're thrown off. Plus, we're kicked off because we don't have enough resources to back the story up. 
And but, but, but that is like a problem of, of uh, how do you, defi you define an encyclopedia, as uh, yeah. Wikipedia is a very important platform, but it's still an encyclopedia. So uh, this, this is certainly something you, you may experience as well, um, being uh, Wikipedians that, um, um, yeah, of course, the, the institutions, the GLAM institutions do have lots of information, um, but still, they, the, the reference is, is needed and the published reference is needed so others could somehow verify what, what is said. Um, this, this is certainly a problem. As, uh, another problem both Venus and Liam, uh, Liam um, addressed was the lack of communication. It was hard to get to communicate uh, from the volunteers to the GLAM institution. Um, I don't know, maybe this is also a question further to, to uh, Lissy. Um, how is it for you to communicate with volunteers? Is that a, a, special, a special kind of uh, well, challenge I, or is it easy? Uh, do, you have a, uh, do you have like a, um, somebody within your staff that is, uh, is uh, the, the volunteer officer or something like that? Um, well, Actually, the person communicating most with the community is now blocked, so that sort of <laughs> shows how we're dealing with this. Um, I don't think, I mean, l most museums are very, very used to working with volunteers. We do a lot of things with volunteers. Um, it's not a matter of being a volunteer, it's just the way you communicate on Wikipedia plus um, the, the things people do on Wikipedia that make it difficult. Um, usually when I run, it, run into problems with someone, I know it's not a good idea to uh, talk with this colleague in email. A lot of times when you write things down, it's like a slap in the face instead of, you know, having a conversation. And I think this is one of the biggest technical problems with Wikipedia is that any conversation, any debate, it's always done on the discussion page. So it's someone slapping someone, someone else slapping back, and it ends up becoming a fight instead of a normal conversation. If you meet people in person, you usually can have a good conversation about something, but here you only have limited tools to talk to each other. And then suddenly something was communicated with a few words and it, it becomes a slap in the face. Yeah. But this means just relation building. Just a question for like understanding, are you on, on English Wikipedia or on Dutch? Dutch. 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 Um, and how big is this community? I mean, everybody's in the Netherlands, you can go and meet. Um, yes. Yeah, most of people don't want to meet. They're yeah, but safe behind your computer. Yeah, but there are Wikipedians <laughs> who meet. A lot of the Wikipedians don't want to meet. Yeah, but there are Wikipedians. Yeah, there are. Yeah. 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 And they, they can serve as an interface yeah. to the community. Yeah, and you can then, go and, and talk to them. Yeah, but it is, we do meet Wikipedians in person. Uh, but it's, that is the other problem that we have as an organization. I mean, we are an organization. We have a central phone number. So if you want something from us, you can call us and... You know, worst case scenario, you ask for the, the general manager of the Rijksmuseum and you will meet a person. Um, yeah. Wikipedia is not this type of organization. So you can, it, which is very democratic and nice, but if I run into a conflict with one person, I can, for instance, call the Dutch chapter of Wikipedia and they can say, oh, I'm so sorry for you. I really feel bad for you. And then, you know, problem not solved. Um, because the person that just, you know, threw away your entire entry with, you know, one stroke of the pen is not someone who is controlled by the organization. It's a person yeah. having its reasons and there can be another debate about why this person did it or not. But it is, you don't know who to call or who to invite. And, you know, that's sort of so confusing that you can have a fierce debate with one person and have a wonderful, loving, you know, relation with another person. And then you find out that they all have different emotions towards each other. So instead of running into a beautiful, very scientific encyclopedia, you end up with an emotional a pond full of people, you know, either loving or hating each other, and you never know who you're dealing with. Exactly. And yeah. that's, yeah. that's pretty true. Um, the, the, I think that one of the problems we're facing going towards uh, GLAM institutions 
is uh, okay if you're dealing with an institution, but still also within the institution you will find different kinds of fractions yeah. and uh, that deal with things that you think would be very normal, um, copyright in distinct ways. Uh, is that something that you have experienced as well, that those copyright issues are very, let's say, delicate within um, the discussion with the GLAM institutions? Is that something you would like to comment? I, um, um, Venus, you were talking about the copyrights and, and uh, especially referring to contemporary art, um, which is most the most delicate thing you could talk about, but um, how about the cultural heritage of um, um, of those government-run museums in Hong Kong? I mean, those are considered to be public domain. Uh, have you been talking to them about that? Well, actually, there are some heritages in Hong Kong, and uh, we ask the people to take the picture to share it in uh, on Wikipedia. Uh, but the I, I would say it's the worst part is the government is the one who destroyed the heritage in Hong Kong. Uh, because there was a building in Hong Kong uh, which is a heritage and which, which is really famous. And the government, because they want to develop the, I mean, the heritage is in the uh, urban side and then the government want to develop the urban, urban side so that um, they destroy the uh, heritage. We, which is a well like in Asian time, so they, so so that what the government do. I would say that uh, if the Hong Kong people they want to protect the heritage or they want to share the, um, uh, the heritage online, uh, Wikimedia Hong Kong would be the very uh, nice platform for them to do so because the government is not helping us to do something like that. <coughs> so that what I would talk about I will say about the heritage situation. Now. Okay, so in Hong Kong you're facing on top of the copyright issues mm -hmm. real political mm -hmm. obstacles as well. This is probably something in in, in, in Europe we, we don't have that much. Uh, but do you share like other obstacles uh, you you would like to address here in, in, in this and or do you have um, ideas for therapy, like uh, what would we do to address that problem that Lissy <coughs> emphasis? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, may yeah, maybe you know this might surprise a bit before, because I could just maybe relate how we're solving this kind of issue in, in Switzerland. Um, there have been also cooperations with uh, large institutions like the National Library. You'd like Archive. to speak up a bit so you so the mic will okay, be able yeah. to catch it. So we have uh, yeah, not a large, large so cameras, like cooperations with large huh? oh. It's quite powerful. If you speak like that, oh. the, the yeah. mic there yeah, is yeah, so we have had uh, cooperation with large institutions and I'm not aware of any such problems at uh, this level that it, it would come to blocking discussions or, or deleting stuff. I think there are yeah, a, a few things you can, can do to avoid this. First of all, um, I, I'm, I, I'm not sure whether you had a Wikipedia in residence or a uh, a liaison person at least um, for the community, but I think it makes definitely sense to have one. Uh, the way this person was chosen in Switzerland, in the German part of Switzerland, is that they chose actually the person that, they, that was most integrated within the, com the, the Wikipedia community and kind of the leader of the, or the coordina coordinator of the regular meetups. So. If somebody has an issue, they know where to go to uh, within the community. They don't have to start hitting the glam institution. And he will sort these things out. And uh, if somebody pops up on, in the community, we usually know who it is, or they would know who, who this person is, and you can reason with this person. And s sometimes, um, if you don't know the workings of the community, of course, <coughs> some things might be very get very emotional quickly for a person who is not used to it. I think it's good yeah, to have this. The, the idea is clear. Um, it's about uh, a mentoring system, finding a liaison person. A, yeah. a mentoring system. Yeah. Are there more suggestions how to deal with those? Uh, uh, first, there was the, the Asaf. Asaf, please. Thank you. Um, I want to suggest the, the idea that <clears throat> a large part of the frustration 
uh, derives even from the semantic level. When you think you are creating a partnership, the word partnership suggests, certainly to a GLAM institution, suggests that there is someone on the other side who owns the, the partnership and that whatever concern you have, it is within that person's power to address. That's how traditional partnerships work and certainly every other partnership the Rijksmuseum has had has worked that way, I'm sure. Uh, and so partnering with Wikipedia is very, very different. You are not, in fact, partnering with Wikipedia. You are perhaps partnering with Wikimedia Nederland, which is, as you have dis discovered, different from Wikipedia. Um, and we, I cannot overestimate uh, the, the importance of having not just a liaison, but a liaison who is very experienced and in good standing in the community. Uh, a well-meaning newbie or, or a person with less experience who himself wouldn't or herself wouldn't know how to address mistakes. And again, I cannot stress enough, Wikipedians make mistakes all the time. That person who deleted that picture m might have been mistaken. Uh, Wikipedians are empowered to an extraordinary degree, right? As you said, they can do this with a, with a keystroke. So that's an extraordinary degree of power, and as Spider-Man teaches us, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> <clears throat> so <laughs> so uh, they are empowered, and they do make mistakes. So the fact that someone questioned your, your reference or deleted your image um, may have a good reason behind it. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's a careless click. Sometimes they were going over 10 bad edits and yours was the 11th and they kind of, with the momentum of it, uh, uh, marked it incorrectly. I mean, really, that happens all the time. So this, this liaison, this person who does know the community, would be able to question this, to revert this. Nothing is final on Wikipedia. Um, and, and the key, as I said, is expectations is realizing, and by the way, that's not, I don't think that's up to the Rijksmuseum, for example. I think it's up to Wikipedians to educate GLAM uh, partners. What is this partnership that you're going into? And to prepare them, we do not control the community. We do not, we cannot guarantee you that everything you put in will stick. Uh, but we can help and we can educate you about our norms and we can facilitate conversations with the, the pricklier uh, Wikipedians who may uh, push back on some of it. And sometimes we will actually have to agree with them. Some of your sources may not be good enough, or you know, some of your pictures may have copyright concerns that you didn't realize, but our very, uh, um, how should I say, uh, erudite uh, Wikipedians uh, have noticed. the important thing to, to talk about, both um, what, um, um, what really struck me was when Venus said that um, the, uh, the government institutions don't see what kind of benefit they would have in collaboration. So this is a lack of expectation dealing there in, in, in this field. Or Eva and Alexandra that um, said, well, uh, we, we, like, uh, we like the community-based Vicky Loves Monuments, but we consider it to be so, uh, our platform to be much user-friendly. Um, this is also a thing of expectations, like what do you expect a platform to be able to, to handle? And uh, so uh, maybe one, one idea we could take at home, um, um, keep on trying to collaborate with the GLAM institutions and Wikimedia movement would be, okay, let's talk about our expectations. And, uh, and this is the final word for today. <laughs> um, I heard that we could go on for 10 more minutes. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. Yes, then Liang, Liang, bitte, please. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, my mindset here is uh, to learn something. I have no idea how to work with GLAM. Uh, I think most of the Wikipedia in Taiwan <laughs> have the same uh, 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 thinking. So, but uh, uh, I, I want to conclude that maybe three difficulties that uh, I discovered, it's uh, more or less universal. Which one is open versus close? Uh, 
for us, even in Taiwan, there are large institutions like uh, National Palace Museum, which may be the top three of the world. They have like thousands, tens of thousands of artifacts, but they want to claim the reproduction right, just like what they, what uh, Paul Keller said uh, in 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 the Spanish museum case. And another one is the democracy and uh, maybe autocracy. Uh, so uh, uh, the mindset uh, we have is like we have no rules for the community. So uh, let's get votes or let's get consensus. But uh, maybe for Glan, it's rather rather more military like like uh, the hierarchy uh, mindset standard. And uh, another one is the experts versus amateurs. Uh, just like uh, Asap said, we we, ha we we make a lot of mistakes. So we, we a lot of Wikipedian likes to read and uh, say, uh, ah, this should be the right answer. But uh, actually, we 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 maybe don't 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 study uh, copyright laws for for our background. Uh, and. Uh, 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 these three difficulties uh, is, I think, is is the main concern that I, I will bring back to to our community to discuss further how to solve. And for now, I think there are three uh, therapeutic way to <laughs> to solve that. Uh, I think uh, we keep Wikipedian in residence. What might be a a very good uh, idea. I, I don't know how to do that. Uh, uh, in the first glance, but uh, I heard a, a lot of people, uh, n uh, both from the side of GLAN and the side of uh, uh, Wikipedian community, uh, they said uh, because there are one, there is a, a, a real person that can connect between the two. Uh, this is really a, a nice way to uh, make GLAN, uh, make the, the, the discussion more efficiently. So. Uh, I, I will learn more about that. Uh, another, I think, it's the evidence uh, to 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 show that uh, both sides, Glenn is working and uh, uh, Wikimedian is working to, to for the collaboration. I mean, uh, for us uh, in Taiwan, it's very hard to start a first successful case, and but if you have a local case then I think, I, I see that uh, all around the world, from the US to, to Euro, Europe, that if you, fir if you start a first successful case, um, uh, then uh, people will come and uh, query about that. Even the Wikipedia community can accept more about that. That's why I think you should very much focus on this uh, open rule um, dictionary. Yeah. Because yeah. there you would have your, your best practice. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, Institutions that you really could contribute something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We're, we're working on that uh, as hard as possible. Okay. Yeah. The, the, maybe, Leon, there yeah. Some yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. I, I would just address the last therapeutic way. I think. I think I will learn about more about uh, the the survey that Beat uh, uh, taught to me. Uh, I think that would be an open door for another lots of people. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, I'm Sibiran Mazeland. Um, I I think that uh, um, taking responsibility for um, for getting the contact uh, is is a very important thing. And um, you could start with uh, Wikipedian in residence, but I think there are easier ways to get into contact with uh, with Wikipedians, um, uh, especially by considering. What, as a, a GLAM institution, you have that the Wikipedians may want? Uh, for example, the Rijksmuseum. Let me think, what does the Rijksmuseum have that Wikipedians may want? Oh, they have uh, lots of art. Um, maybe uh, uh, you can uh, do a tea circle uh, every last Friday of the month and have two or three Wikipedians drink a cup of tea with you while you show them a specific piece of art and inspire them to write about it. In the same time, you get to know them, and once you get to know them, they get to know you and your uh, uh, your Wikipedia handle, and that way you build up that relationship. Uh, I always call it real-life credits that you can spend online. 
Um, I, don't, I don't know if anyone recognizes that, but the relationships that I have with uh, uh, the people that I meet online in the real world allow me to actually um, work better with them online. Uh, it, it makes it really hard uh, to uh, indeed negotiate with Fluffy Hair 2000. Um, if <laughs> uh, but, but if you've met, um, I don't know, a Jane who's behind Fluffy Hair 2000, um, it's, a, it's a lot harder for Jane um, uh, to be harsh towards you because Jane knows who I am and it's harder for me to be harsh towards, towards Fluffy Hair because I know that Jane is behind that. Um, uh, it, so the, 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 the whole dehumanizing uh, factor that there is if you haven't been into physical uh, proximity to, to other editors and, and see that there are also actual people um, behind them and it's not keyboard against the keyboard, uh, it improves things so much. And um, don't try to not have too, too many expectations of, of the first meetings. It, these are relationships that evolve. Um, and there has to be um, a, a reciprocity in, in, in some way, and that doesn't go at first contact. That's, that's an evolving uh, process. That's my, my main um, message that I, I would like to send all of us as, as, as therapy. So be people together. Um, another thing is that once you do this, uh, you'll see that you can get away with a lot more if people know you than uh, when they don't know you. Thank you. Yeah, I was uh, very impressed by what uh, Lizzie Yongma was telling about her experiences and it's just simply a question of the authorship model in a wiki. In a wiki, by definition, the Wikipedia author cannot be authoritative, cannot be the source. And someone of uh, the Wikimedia organization should have explained that. In my experience, often the people who are volunteers or collaborators of Wikimedia organizations, in their presentations they lack the scrutiny, there's a lack of substance, there's a lack of understanding, because often these people are interested in art, but they are not interested in how a wiki works, they are not interested in how copyright works and free knowledge works, and the consequence is, well, they make these errors and they don't see the true. And then I say, well, you have to be more thorough about these things and they just don't listen to me. And uh, I think they do just don't do their homework quite well. And uh, we as an, the Wikimedia organization in general uh, should learn from these examples and see yes, expectations, what are good expectations, what can we do. And we, we must be much more clearer in our presentations about our movement and how Wikipedia works. And we still must learn a lot about it and be open to disciplines and topics that are not our favorite ones because we love art and we, we don't love software. But software is important, copyright is important, and so on. We must be more open to that. Can I respond for one moment? <laughs> um, I, I totally agree with a lot of things you all say. Um, but my f question back at you would be, why do you want to collaborate with GLAMS? Why does GLAM Wiki exist? Um, it's not just that we wanted to collaborate with Wiki, it's also that Wiki wants to collaborate with us. And that's when the partnership, and you are so true and so right about that. Usually when we have a partnership, you know, you know who your partner is, who you're dealing with, and if you want to talk to someone, you can pick up a phone and have a conversation. So we participated in Glam Wiki, and then, you know, we we do get into weird situations and some of them will be because we're not educated in the wiki world, we're educated in the art world. So we know about art, but we don't necessarily know all about uh, wiki. So I can, uh, I can understand that half of the problems come from a lack of knowledge of the wiki community. But the other half um, is not lack of knowledge, it's also something different. And that could be either that we, we deal with things that lack resources, and it, it's a, with a lot of minority information. There is nothing 
So I could go on for hours trying to find resources to describe specific artworks, but there are no resources. We are actually the only museum who knows anything about this or that person. And where do we get the acknowledgement? Actually, there is this weird bypass where you can ask a Wikipedian, get, get him in, give him a cup of coffee, and ask him to write about this artist well, you just told. Another thing is that because they know you, at some point they'll start telling the users that tell you that you don't have anything. Yeah, but at one it's specific they wiki... They know what they do. But at one specific Glam Wiki training, I actually got the advice not to enlist myself as an employee of the Rijksmuseum because I'm a bypass, a biased person. So this is what a trainer, a Wikipedia trainer, tells me not to do. So this is what confuses me. And this is by this time, I think, I'm going to put my time and effort somewhere else because this is too confusing. Yeah. I got this. Several people wanting to, to comment on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Who's first? Um, <laughs> the, last, the last, I think it's yeah, the last. Yeah, I think we, uh, we have to come to an end yeah. because my airplane is leaving us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's anyway, a tough but, deadline. Um, there was a, the, the lady there in the back. Yeah, you wanted to say. Well, so you have to I, heard story, uh, I, I heard this story from other museums in the Netherlands as well. And, well, a lot of them are just giving up. And also, uh, you know, some uh, institutions have money to pay for a Wikipedian in residence, but a lot of them don't, or they have uh, limited resources to put, they have volunteers, but they don't have much time to put in, uh, uh, they, they want to uh, publish their information on Wikipedia, but with, with all these kinds of things happening, they don't have the resources or time or volunteers to do so. So that's a shame, I think. So time is priority, right? Time is priority, so that's that's a that can be a conscious choice. So you make a choice one way or another way. If you make yeah, the way, don't underestimate that a lot of museums are uh, very small staffed. We have a l I, I uh, so. Yeah. Yeah, and if if and I, I I have to be advocate for the devil now. Uh, you know, if you need to spend all your time in having Wikipedians over for a cup of coffee, I mean that was time I wanted to use to write articles or you know get someone into the. Yeah, that's true. Well, that is actually the experience we have, and I have to be honest, we, some of us really gave up on trying to write articles, and that is for some, some parts of our collection is really unfortunate, because probably the person in my organization is the only expert in the Netherlands on this specific subject, so I can... Yeah, what we actually did is we uploaded a lot of uh, paintings on Wiki, Wikimedia Commons and now other people are dealing with it. Although occasionally you see things where, you know, you sort of, uh, you know, you feel the urge to do something about it. But we're sort of, you know, it's up there to Wiki to deal with it. Yes. yes, I do I mean, think that we opinion. have to be more open-minded yeah. yeah. in order to, it's and not only, the Wikipedia uh, should be an open society, and, uh, and uh, of course the, the, the conflict of, of interest uh, um, it might be there, but it's not there by definition, only because you are um, a staff member of, of the institution, it's not there by definition. I have a cup of coffee with Jane. Oh, <laughs> I am not in good standing with okay, a Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of coughs. <laughs> Why some things are not as they, as they seem and as they should be. Okay, okay. Um, despite that now you become very vivid and it would be certainly very um, good to be able to talk longer, I'm afraid we have to cut here um, and I'll try to do a little wrapping up. Um, if you if you allow, um, I think one of the the main things we have heard is uh, glam work is always relation building, and 
relation building is focusing on relation in between humans. So trying to establish as many possibilities where humans could meet in order to establish their relation and talk about expectations and, and then come to a, a consent on what they, they would like to do together would be one thing. And, uh, and the other point is actually to talk openly about the obstacles that might be political obstacles, as in the case of Asia. It might be copyright issues. Uh, it might be definition things on what is a resource and what is a reference and, and those things. But the main focus would be communication, talk to each other, and, and talk the most direct way you are able to do. And in the end, it would be be patient. Yeah. It's not so much being bold, but it's being yeah. patient. Okay, thanks a lot for your participation and bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>